following video is going to show you how to apply actions to buttons in Adobe Animate. So let me show you this little video I've created here, this movie. You can see that I have this button. When I click this middle button, these three I have these three buttons in this motion tween. When I click the middle button, it's going to go to a completely separate frame and show a word, hello, on the screen. This button on the side here stops my motion tween, and this button on the left plays it. So, I'm going to show you how to create these buttons. All right, so you can see I have a general motion tween on the screen, because in order to test your buttons, you need to have something to test them with. So I've created a simple motion tween on the screen that just goes back and forth. You can see it right here down in my keyframe. It's about 35 keyframes in length. I have a, let me select my selector mouse, I have a play button, a go to and play button, and a stop button. All right, so each of these buttons is simply the same symbol one button right here. I just drag it out on the screen three different times. Bam, 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 drag it out on the screen. All right, so the first part, my stop and play button. Let me show you their action. So the first thing I did on this layer, here's my motion tween right here. At the end of this movie, I have an insert keyframe where I put a stop action. You can see this dot stop. That just simply stops my keyframe. Here are my buttons. And here are the actions for my buttons. So once I drug each of these buttons on the screen, you can see the layer right here. What I need to do is I need to give each of them an instance name. So I'm going to click on my play button. I'm going to look up at the top here and look at properties. In the top here, I'm going to enter something in. I've entered my play button. You can see that I made like I, all, there's no spaces. You can't use spaces. You can't use like a period or anything like that. No symbols. You have to use a word. You also cannot use a word that, that animate uses as like an action. So I can't use like the word just play. So I usually try to make something generic like my play button. And what, what I do is I make sure like the first word, my, is no capitalization. But then when I write play, the P is. So like my play button. You can see how I've written it here. It's probably small in the video. Um, then I'm going to make a go to and play button. So I'm going to say my go button for the instance and my stop button. My stop button. I have to remember these instance names because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into actions and I'm going to actually put the actions in. So let's go to the actions. I'm going to right click. I've created a whole new layer for actions. You can see the little A here. I'm going to right click and select the actions. Okay, so let's just take a look at these first two here. So for my stop button. So this is the action for my stop button. I have it highlighted. Let me explain what's going on here. I have this, my stop button, right? That's the instance name I gave it, my stop button. So that's where I have to remember what I wrote dot add event listener and I have on click and now I've created this made up word which I have an fl underscore click go to and stop at frame that's just a made up word a variable dot bind this then what I do is I create a function called this so these two things this and this need to be the same this is just a variable name so this and this are the same. And this is where I tell my button what it's going to do. This dot stop. So that this button function, my made up name here, this could be any name I wanted, is going to stop when I call it. And here I'm calling it. This, so I'm applying that function to my stop button. All right, play button is the exact same thing. It's the exact same code as this, except obviously right here, I need to say my play button, so I have my play button. This obviously needs to be its own new unique name. So this and this are the same, but they're unique. And I say this dot play. That creates my stop and play button. And that's how you do it. That, so that creates a stop and a play button. Then I have another kind of button up here, which is a go to and play button. So I've extended my keyframes out here to make it very clear. I gave my frame a frame label. I called it end frame because I don't like using numbers. You can see up here the little red thing. That's a label, end frame. I have an action, which is just a stop. And then I just have the word hello. And so this button right here, this middle button, 
is going to go to that. The action for that, same as the top. My instance name on the button was my go button. I created a unique name for here, which is also the same name as here. And I've just written this dot go to end play. And what I called my frame, right, was end frame. Go to and play end frame. And you can see the go to is not capitalized and then end play is. And that makes it go to that frame. So let's play the movie again. Stop. That's our stop button. Play. Our play button. This one's going to be the one that goes to and plays end frame. And that's it. That's how you put actions on buttons. Thanks.